Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. I'm honored to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Um, like, uh, like was said, my name is Daniel Bertolino, and I, I wanted to share a few remarks, and I'm, I'm just honored to have this opportunity to do so. Um, first of all, I want to say that, again, I'm honored to, to be here and, and speak tonight on behalf of not only my family, but also on, all the on behalf of all the military families that uh, Fallen Patriots has supported. I'm so grateful for this tribute to my father's service and sacrifice. It's even more meaningful that so many of you here tonight are, are here to learn about my father's life. There's so many wonderful stories that, uh, and things that I could tell you about my father. Um, I had a really hard time deciding what to speak about. My dad taught me and my siblings a lot, of, a lot of life lessons, and in the short time we had with him, he didn't just teach us to be responsible and strong. He lived by example and showed us how to live a life of service to others and persist as times get difficult. I've, de I've decided to share two lessons that my dad instilled with me that have helped me navigate life without him. Each of these lessons has helped me feel him with me as I go throughout each day. The first lesson is about perseverance. My dad's mom died of cancer eight months before my father was killed in action. On the day of her funeral, as it turns out, my dad's military orders required him to move our family to a base uh, in Colorado. Shortly after we arrived, my dad and his army unit were deployed to Iraq, and that was the last time that we saw him. My dad knew that his job as a soldier still needed to be done, even at a time of great loss for him. I knew that he was grieving, but I remember thinking how much strength it must have taken for him to persevere and move forward despite his loss. I sometimes wonder if, if he knew that one day we would need to find that same grit that he had. Because of my father's example and the way he handled things, I knew exactly what I needed to do uh, after I lost my father. The second lesson my dad taught me uh, was about stepping up even if you feel small or weak, and it's taught me about helping others. <clears throat> I want to share this lesson with you through a story. Now, it might sound a little crazy, but my dad taught me how to ride my bike when I was a toddler. My bike didn't have training wheels, and I was only two. Um, now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, what kind of guy puts his, his two-year-old son on a bike without wheels? But he did love us. Um, <laughs> th that video showed you. Um, and you know, the reason he did that is because he really, he really loved pushing us and, and seeing you know, what we could do. And he pushed me to grow up at, at, you know, I feel like a younger pace than most, most kids did. And I'm really blessed for that experience because my brother and I had to learn to be adults pretty quickly and take care of my mom and my younger siblings. Um, we, it, we, we really all took care of each other and it was such a blessing to have our family together. Um, but to get back to the lesson of the story, uh, my dad uh, loved to, to go on family bike rides. Oftentimes, we would ride around the army base for an hour or so. And it, you know, it was sometimes hard for me to, to keep up with my parents and my older brother. Whenever I got tired, though, my dad would reach down from his bike and put his hand on my back and tell me that I could stop pedaling. My dad would then pedal a little harder and push me along so I could rest my legs to continue on in the journey. Now, whenever I'm going through a hard time and feel like I can't go any further. I think about my dad's big hand pressing on my back and giving me the extra push that I need. This memory also reminds me to keep an eye on my mom and my siblings when I see them feeling tired or discouraged. I reach out to support them any way I can. And this makes me feel closer to my dad. Losing your dad, who is such a, a big part of your life, is pretty scary for a little kid. But my dad's passing left, and my dad's passing left a, a giant hole in my life, and I constantly feel um, I constantly feel him with me. Uh, I, can feel, I can feel him with me when I share these wonderful memories. So thank you for this opportunity to, to speak about my, my father and thank you for honoring him. I feel my dad's presence and kindness and the support, through the support of patrons like each of you. All of you really are that big hand of my father reaching down and pushing me forward. Thank you for taking care of my family so we could become the young adults that our father wanted us to be. Your generosity honors our father's legacy and his life. 
Thank you for keeping the memory of our hero alive. Thank you.